Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Russ Bowen. And I'm Maggie Newland. Right now, people in the south bracing for hurricane force winds and potentially catastrophic flooding. You're taking a live look right now at Galveston, Texas. Evacuations continue for people who live along the Texas Gulf Coast as Hurricane Harvey gets closer and closer to land. It is a Category 2 storm now, but forecasters expect it to grow to a Category 3 by the time it makes landfall tonight. Don Champions in Corpus Christi, Texas, where the storm is expected to hit hard. Eyes are gray and the Gulf is churning along the Texas coast as Hurricane Harvey spins closer to shore. Forecasters are warning it could be the most powerful storm to make landfall in the U.S. since 2005, and millions are in its path. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if we're going to come back to a home or what damage we're coming home to. And so it's, it's kind of, it's sad. It's scary. Many coastal residents are boarding up their homes and heading inland. Hotels are making people check out. School buses are shuttling hundreds out of Corpus Christi. Thursday, babies from a neonatal intensive care unit were flown north to safety. But officials are concerned because not as many people are evacuating compared with previous storms. The National Hurricane Center is calling Harvey life-threatening and says it could leave parts of the upper Texas coast uninhabitable for weeks. Harvey could deliver winds of over 110 miles an hour and a 15-foot storm surge when it arrives. The issue will be, once it makes landfall, it's just going to sit and meander over the Texas coastline here. Rainfall is predicted to be close to three feet in some areas. The governor of Texas has already declared a preemptive state of disaster in 30 counties. Don Champion, CBS News, Corpus Christi, Texas. Texas's governor has also activated about 700 members of the state National Guard. Military helicopters are on standby in Austin and San Antonio in preparation for search and rescues as well as emergency evacuations. And about 15 minutes ago, President Trump tweeted about the hurricane. He says he has spoken with the governors of Texas and Louisiana and is, quote, closely monitoring Hurricane Harvey developments and here to assist as needed. And if you are planning to fly to Texas, the hurricane may change those plans for you. Right now, no delays yet to and from Texas, from RDU or to RDU, but that could change as the hurricane gets closer to land. The airport says international passengers traveling to Houston or Austin have the ability to change those flights without fees because of the hurricane. Check with Delta, United, SkyWest, and either your other airlines if you need to see.